Sige, malagay lang sa ano din sa standby. Check ko lang yung The ship's main engine is a complex machine. It relies on its auxiliaries to be able to run. Auxiliary engines like the generators, purifiers, and even pumps. In this video, I am going to show you how the ship's engineers prepare and start the main engine for departure and sea passage. the engineering team is given a one-hour notice to prepare the engine. The checklist from the company's safety management system or the SMS is provided to ensure proper engine preparation. The engine departure checklist provides the necessary things to be checked before starting the engine, machinery that needs to run during preparation, and the crucial parameters to be monitored for an efficient engine operation. To begin the preparation, an additional diesel generator is to be started for additional power. The generator needs to be sufficiently warmed up before giving load to it. When the exhaust gas reaches to about 200 degrees Celsius, it's time to give load to the incoming generator. So this is how we synchronize the two generators. No okay. synchronize two generators. Additional power, check. Now turn the engine by starting the turning gear. Operate the lubricators by pressing the below on the lubricator panel. This slowly turns the engine and lubricates the cylinder and the piston rings. Normally, this is done for about 20 to 30 minutes. After 20 minutes of turning the engine, stop the turning gear. Disengage the turning gear. Open main air supply from the main air reservoir. Open the main air starting valve to supply compressed air for starting the engine. The main engine is ready for testing. Before testing the main engine, the duty engineer informs the duty officer on the bridge. The duty officer then confirms if it's already safe to test the engine. The main engine is set to standby mode. Auxiliary blowers are started to supply scavenging air. It is also crucial to check engine parameters before starting. Check lubeable pressure, jacket cooling temperatures, starting air pressures, and fuel oil temperature. When everything seems to be normal, start the engine first by blowing through. This turns the engine with the indicator cocks opened. 
blowing up any moisture or condensation accumulation inside the cylinders. Close the indicator cocks. After testing the main engine on the engine control room side, the engineer gives the control over the bridge. This gives the bridge full control of the main engine. The bridge will also test their control on a head and a stern. Uh, yun lang, ano, testing, meningin, ahead of stern. 